Howdy, partners. Start your horses. It's time for some Red Dead Redemption. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome into the channel if this is your first time here. I'm Aurelia and I'm a full-time active duty military member and part-time content creator here on YouTube and on Twitch. And today we're going to be starting probably my most highly requested and highly anticipated game of all time. No big deal. <laughs> everyone stay calm. It's happening. We're starting Red Dead Redemption 2 for the first time, completely blind, starting today. And I couldn't be more hyped, my dudes. I could not be more hyped for this moment. You guys have been requesting it. I have been so eager to play it, and I don't know a damn thing as per usual, as is the Aurelia way. I don't know a damn thing about this game. I couldn't tell you a single character's name. I don't even know why we're playing the second one. Y'all said play Red Dead 2. I'm playing Red Dead 2. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and the rest was history. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. And as a reminder for those that may not know me, I want to keep it that way. I want to keep it that way. I don't want to know a thing. I don't want to know any hints. I don't want to know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't want to know anything. I'm sure I'm just going to wander around aimlessly and figure it out. Play it the way it was meant to be played when this game first came out, whenever it came out. So that's the way we're going to do these things. All I know is that there's rootin', tootin', cowboys shooting. I've got my coffee. And uh, I'm ready for chaos. I hope you are too. And without further ado, let's get into it. By 1899, the Age of Outlaws and Gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. Ooh, I'm excited. I just got goosebumps. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Dude, what is this game? Also, before anyone freaks out, uh, I'm pretty sure the cutscenes are going to be in this weird format, but the actual game is going to be the full 1440 widescreen, because I'm playing on an ultra-wide monitor. Dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah! This looks like a movie! When did this game come out? Alter. Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. 
Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. <laughs> Seems like it. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. This voice acting is insane. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Who are Mr. these Grimshaw, people? I need you to turn this place into a camp. What have they been they through? They be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. Damn. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. There we go. I need you strong. Okay. Jeez. I have so many questions. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We this... have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This is beautiful. Goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Who are these people? What are they running from? They said something about outlaws in like the first two seconds, so. I don't know, man. Careful over this bridge here. Bridge. Oh, good. The horse has brakes. God damn, this is pretty. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Talk to him. What's about the? What about the money? What is? And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You 
up ahead. Who's there? Whoa. Micah. Gentlemen. <laughs> Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. That away. Uh, anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. <laughs> Follow me. <clears throat> Sounded like How's a party. Well, you didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. No. Nope. No, no. Quite a business. <laughs> it's me and the boys. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Hanging Always. out. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John? <laughs> Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Double tap and hold A while pushing L. Okay. In front of you. Okay, go. In formation. Oh, oh my bad. Excuse me. kick out of this whole thing. Just me and the boys. Oh, God damn, this snow gets right to the bone. Trotting through the snow. What are they running from? Who are the Pinkertons? What is worth all of this? I'm guessing they're out west because it's a cowboy game, right? So, like, where the hell are they that there's this big-ass storm? They're like... Like Montana or something? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Hey! Okay. Let's head down there. All right, let's go. We oh. No Witcher mechanics. I can't just slide down a mountain on Roach. <laughs> Lower left. Okay. Sick. I'm not doing so well. Unless that's. Outer bar shows your remaining health. Level of the inner core influences how quickly your health refills. Okay. Let's hitch up here. Talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Did I do it? I guess it's just. Someone's having fun in there. I didn't tie it. Horsey! Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. 
True. In that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that I'm flag. trying. Okay. Guess my horse is just gonna run away. I'm trying, boss! Go to the shed and press right bumper. What are you doing? I'm trying! Bro, give me a minute! Sheesh! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Shut up, Billy! Excuse me! Hello! Oh, well, hello, friend! What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen! We can't help you, mister. I got... Folks, Arthur, on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some There's a body in the wagon. I heard you. Oh, fucking shit. How do I get my... Protect him how? Jump out of there. Go. Left bumper, show wagon. We, what the fuck? Is that my guy or the other guy? Fucking shit cakes. What the fuck? Beat a real what the f Jesus Christ his hat flew right off Ah is that a good guy? I don't think so ah! Threat indicator on the edge of the radar shows the direction okay cool 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 Oh there he is chicken sandwich on him oh dear god this is gonna be a mess of a playthrough y'all smells like a party in here turn the place upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey Ooh, food medicine whiskey yeah buddy baked beans oh you guys can't see my loot it's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on you. Whiskey. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. That was aggressive. Some biscuits. Hell yeah. Eating food will refill your health core. Better quality food will refill more core. Warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. Peaches, 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 peaches. God. Mario movie, anyone? <laughs> Ah. Uh. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. All right. All righty then. What we got? Two dollars and fifteen cents. Hoping the inflation was low then. Okay. Hope two dollars is like a fortune. Cigarettes, gems of beauty. How much of this stuff is like? Fairs, foreign beauty photograph. Sold. Okay, okay, okay. Cigarettes slightly damages stamina. Restores dead eye core. Health core and stamina. Health. Okay. 
Alright. Peaches, 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 peaches. Hmm. Poor bastard was married too. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, Arthur? Jake and Sadie wedding. Scam. Poor bastard was married too. Ooh, oat cakes. I didn't know those were around for this long. Rice cakes? Whee! What's taking so long in there? I'm slow! <laughs> what do you want from me? Answer! Just let me finish searching the place. Yeah. Can't rush perfection, Dutch. Wee! Alright. Am I good? Oh, meat! Ah, oh, almost missed the meat stick. That's probably some good quality nutrition right there. Am I good? Oh, God. You done here? Oh, nope. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. There's a lot to loot. Pages, pages, pages. I wonder if there's a limit on weight. Provisions, tonics. Eh, it's probably just like a physical limit in your pockets. Doesn't look like there's a weight associated. Alright. Blood. Thank you, game. Bottom right corner. Blood. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> oh my god, there's more! Sweet corn. What are you doing, Arthur? <laughs> Leave me alone, Dutch! Just give me a minute. God damn! Look, I got six forty-two now. You guys can't see that, actually. I got six dollars and forty-two cents. I'm making good headway in here. Next, we're gonna rip this place up under the floorboards. We're gonna. All right, all right, all right. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh god, we're done here. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. All right. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Arthur, you go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you go see the cat. See if there's anything we missed. That barn. Oh, there's a look back at it button. Sick. Please don't be dead bodies. Please don't be dead bodies. No oh, fucking shit! No, you're not. You. What's going on? This guy just jumped me. Oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Oh! Where's Colm O'Driscoll? This is so involved. I'm with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. Should I hit him? What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? 
Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. You better, you, you better remember something. Oh, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. I can't hit him anymore. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Are you sure? You sure? Please, partner. Please, partner. You Alright. I just do what I'm told, please. I did just kill his cousin. Can I leave? Can I? Can I just leave this poor man alone? Please. You'll never see me again. Oh, spare. I see. Get the hell out of here. Go. Is this a decision game? I should have killed his ass. Where'd he go? Wait. Come here. I kind of want to go back and kill him. If this is a decision game, he's going to go out and fucking... Hold up. Pause. If this is a decision-based game, he's gonna come back and bite me in the ass eventually. Where's my hat? It's gonna be like, remember this one time you killed all my family? Well, now I'm the leader of the goddamn goon squad. God damn it, where'd this son of a bitch go? I'm... Can I go back? Progress? Zero percent? <laughs> I want to kill him, damn it! I shouldn't have let the sneaky rat go! Can I go back? Please, partner, dude, when he hits you with that please, partner, what are you supposed to do? He hit me with that please, partner! Okay, boy. <laughs> Mere horsey. Please, partner. Continue bonding with your horse. All right. You let him go, huh? So all the little bastards scurry. Don't bring it up. It's gonna bite me in the ass. Oh, fucking God. That's gonna bite me in the ass. I can already tell. First decision of the game. Get away from me! Yeah! What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, God. Oh, look what I found in the cellar. Why I'll take eight <laughs> Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. I love basement wives. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you... What the? Miss, now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Don't kill this guy. We just met him. Come on. It'll be okay. Please don't stab him. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. Oh! Been, they... Okay, miss, you are safe now. We just saved her? And you can't stay here. Sick! You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. Okay. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. What is this game? Hey! Somebody's coming! 
Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. And stashed her in, three days. in the basement. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, huh. but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. <laughs> I know. The situation were reversed. And... He looked for me. That's a good way to think about things in Thank life. Thank you. Would someone do the same for you? You shouldn't always think that way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. Life isn't about transactions, well, but know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. This game is awesome. The character design is like, mwah, so far. Like, the voice acting's on point, the outfits are on point, the attention to their expressions and detail is on point. Like, I know I haven't even grazed the surface, but I am thoroughly impressed already. Honestly. And I'm not just saying that because everyone told me to play this game, all right? Smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently, and that way. Sure, well, come on then. They're all like. There's some tracks leading to the river. Cowboy type folks, but they've each got their own distinct cross. personalities. And like voice inflections and tones and stuff. You uh, think it's John? Lower you tell left. me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? Oh yeah, the boat with yeah, the, money. the money. It seemed fine. Mm -hmm. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. It's raining bullets. Hallelujah. It's raining Take it slow. bullets. Big ravine here. Press that button. What is that button? Oh, fork. That's not that button. I know. Bad way. But it was a bad situation. Oh I my god. Him, Stab it. This way, I'm trying. Alright, I'm a. 
I think I'm a third person girly. Tracks go left, down here. Danny what? got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Cinematic camera. Bad business, all right. Ooh. Ooh. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. What? You can just hold A? What? View. Fuck that. Oh, Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. How do I change the angle in cinematic again? Almost there, boy. Come on now. Dude, this is wild. Come on. moment I'm trying ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba. John was <gasps> riding that horse when we left Blackwater oh, Let's see if he can hear us I can be in cinematic off the horse? What? Grab your shotgun. Come on. Horse weapons. Okay. There we go. Okay. Horse cargo. You guys already know. Cinematic mode. It's the climb. Okay, that's annoying. We're not actually gonna do that. Let's go. <laughs> you sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. Mierda, we're high up here. Mierda. Puta madre, son of a bitch. Stamina is displayed on the lower left corner. Not a bar depletes when you run, jump, or climb. Although the inner corner yeah, is okay. There's a drop here. Oh god. Why was I getting my gun ready? I don't know. It's slippery. Be careful. Oh fuck. Stay low under here. Okay. Good now. Watch your stamp. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up the 
¿Por qué el hombre está on top of esta montaña? ¿Por qué? I'm trying. Why is he on the mountain? How did you get yourself into this situation, bro? Are you being chased? We're coming, John. Kakon popal v tu situaci. How did he get into the situation? But you mourn. Put. Why is he here, boy? I'm miserable. Ha! Been a tough few days. Aww. I know. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. Kentucky bourbon. Your stamina is no longer empty. Hell yeah, brother. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! Let's fucking go! John! John, can you hear me? Marston! Over here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Down here! Over here! Hola! Oh my god, we are in the clouds. Johnny, what a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> you don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. <clears throat> Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Ain't you a sorry sight? Argue with you there. This game is so quotable. You weren't the right man for this. Uh, I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Oh, fork! Look up there. The music! Perfect. God damn it. All right. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. All right, I got this. Get them dogs. We'll leave them to Arthur. Come here, pups. Get, gotta get them dogs. We're getting you out of here. Pleasure to lock on an animal. Press X to draw attention. Draw them off us, Arthur. Right here. Come here, pups. Get them dogs. How do I shoot? Fuck! How do I shoot? Oh, why is right trigger aim, you motherfucker? That's the stupidest thing! Right trigger! What the fuck? I'm about to get fucked up by some dogs! Ah, stop it! Mother trucker! Why is right trigger? Oh, God! Fucking shit! Die! God, son of a bitch! Ah! Why was right trigger aim and right bumper shoot? In what world is right trigger? You see that on the ridge? No, oh, I see it. What the fork, dude? All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. Oops! Okay, here we go, John. Okay, here now it's fine. Oh. Right trigger aim. We're getting you out of here. Here! Yes. 
Oops. Okay, now right trigger is shoot. Fucking why? Dude, the controls are being weird. I swear it's not me. What? Now right trigger is shoot. What? Dude. Fucking shit. I'm about to just stab these guys. Oh my god, there's another one. I hear it. No? Dude, what? Okay, now left trigger is... Aim and right trigger... I swear to God, guys, I'm not making this up. I swear, I know I'm not gr the best at games, but I swear... Yeah, 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 yeah. You're telling me, bucko. I don't know if that's just a me thing. I'm trying! Is that just me or is that like a game thing? Alright. I'm done. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a dog bite. Knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. Oh. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. There we go. Them boys. Up there. Four of them. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Fucking. Get the map out of Shit, there's more on the right. More coming in on the left. Get out of here. You see any more, Arthur? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. I wonder if this game is supposed to be controller or keyboard and mouse. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. Ah, pro you tips. Know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. Water. So. Freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. <laughs> Let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. This is awesome. This is so cool. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Why is it all we abandoned? Need some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Come on, here we go. There we go. Ay, careful, idiotas, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Who's this guy Thank with you, the Mr. glasses? <sighs> Looks like a mole rat. The glasses. Like small. We Just have a been scratch. For weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Enter, pursued by memory. You get strong, 
We get warm. And we wait. Hmm. John has a return from an earlier scouting trip. Arthur and Javier ride out into the snow and look for him. Oh! Kill all the wolves without taking any damage. Complete with at least 80% accuracy. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Failed that one. I think I'm not going to ever check these because it's just going to make me meh. I think it's just going to hurt my ego, honestly. I'm just not going to look at the... Oh, fuck. Outlaws from the West. Half frozen, close to death, and on the run. But it would be comedic because then you guys can laugh at all the things I don't do. Or, or maybe I'll improve. There's a thought. Maybe I'll actually get better. Maybe. Probably not. Half frozen, close to death, and on the run, the gang find shelter in an old abandoned mining town. Dutch Arthur and Micah head out to look for surprise. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Warm enough. Yeah. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. Hmm. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Gonna rob everyone in this house. There's a little east versus west debate going on. Oh, sorry. A hot dog? Howdy, partner. I'll sit by the fire. Arthur's roasting by an open fire. Cowboys cooking in the snow. All right. All right. Everything seems about right in here. Let's take a gander outside and see where these boys are at. Oh, dear God. Let's see who's we got here. Howdy, partner. Storms are brewing. Can I talk to these people? Oh, my God, I can. Morning. Can I talk to the people in the house, too? Hold up. I gotta say hi to these people. Jose, uh, is this? You're the one with the death wish. I am doing everything I can to keep these people alive. Pinkertons. Lots of them, and bounty hunters, too, more than They're ever still going before. at it. And all after us, we were set up in Blackwater, and none of them. Dumb enough to take that pass in winter or think us fool enough to do it neither. We got a few weeks. By the time they find out where we are, we'll be gone. I leave the house Where's for two you? seconds. I ain't got that yet. <laughs> but this ain't done. Not no way. <laughs> Hi. You warned them about that Blackwater job. Yes, but who listens to me anymore? Oh, well, we'll work this out. You Hi, okay Molly. In here, Molly. It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Why is she British? Who's this bitch? I'm fine, thank you. Well, she's probably not a bitch. That was mean. She's probably a very nice lady, but like, why is she? Well, just hang in there. Okay, Arthur. Now she's normal sounding. Hello? Y'all hear that? Is 
Sus. Molly's an inside threat. Killer. First chance. Molly's going down. Anyways, um... I'm fine, thank you. Ain't sure how long we can realistically stay up here, Dutch. Oh, you don't start too. You're getting as bad as he is. Okay. Well, you don't have to talk about touchy subject. Now. He doesn't want to talk about moving. Up with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Yellow. Oh, shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess. I guess folks miss them. I fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. Mm. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Mm -hmm. Cole always had good information come on and you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit <laughs> shit. i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place there are o'driscoll's about yeah southwest right arthur yeah he said, follow the main trail southwest. The camp near some lake. Are you about to go on a train heist? Find these bastards before they find us and rob this for their planet. I actually got this cowboy hat in uh, in Texas. I lived there for a little while, and I got it in Texas. So it's an authentic cowboy hat. That. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. Oh shit, it's happening. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. Interesting. He killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. Huh. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. So it's just been a game of back and forth, huh? See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Brother, Annabelle. Mm. Hold up here. Whoa. All right, gentlemen. This is it. All right. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. 
Now. Here we go, boys. Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Oh, shit. I think this is gonna be my heisting hat. I think we're gonna put this bad boy on when uh, we're getting into shenanigans. And right now, we're about to bust this train. Or these guys in general. There they are. O'Connell's, yeah? That's definitely them. Home? Calmels? So. Yeah, that's him. Around the watchtower. Let's see what we're dealing with. Another guy. What? Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <gasps> they leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Colin can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. <laughs> All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. All right. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Not setting your load up before dismounting will remain on your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it. Long arm, right trigger to cycle to the carabine repeater. Left bumper. Is this my horse? Quick, grab that repeater and let's get moving. I'm trying. Horse weapons. Left bumper. Long arm slot. Ah, and right trigger to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this... Oh, okay, I see. Maybe I will try... Mouse and keyboard. On, see go. how that feels. Yeah, so like trigger... I'm on keyboard right now, let's see. Control for crouch. J for journal, that's intuitive. Okay. I don't know what I just pressed there. Log. B for bag. B for bussin' with food. Oh, C for look back. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you... Give me a sec. Settings. Controls. I just want to see... M for map, E for interact, cycle camera, cinematic camera is V, okay, 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 W, A, S, D, run is left, shift, that makes sense, jump, space, okay, animals, G, brush, horse, feed, B, R, brush, 
Okay, I mean, it's pretty intuitive. I'll just probably bang my head against the keyboard and go from there. Like I normally do. Sick. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. There we go. I think I like riding around with a uh, controller for sure, like on uh, horses and stuff. It feels a little bit more immersive, I'll say. But I prefer shooting. Yeah. That cinematic view. I'm about to fall off this goddamn mountain. It's steep here. Careful. Wee. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. <laughs> no, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. That cinematic camera is goaded. Have to show weapon wheel. Okay. Come on, follow me. Shh. This isn't very stealthy. He can see us. Oh. Get in cover, Arthur. <laughs> That's our guy. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. There's one right there. One right there. Hold this while looking. Move on this right now. So I say let's keep it out. So I wouldn't have done. Better than that much choice was picking his teeth off the floor. Bob! Whoopsies! I was trying to talk to him! Fork! God damn it! Shit! High key, I'm better at shooting with controller now. The music! Oh my god, I'm stressing. We're good. From the hip by tapping. Oh, okay, we're not doing that with the rifle. Oh my god. Eh. I'll kill you twice. Oh, oh baby. Boom. Oh, his hat flew off. Oh god, this is so scuffed. Die. All right, all right, all right, all right. I need to reload. Am I out? R for reload. Intuitive. Oh, God. Arthur!
Whoa. Take what? Oh, some cigar? Some chewing tobacco? Maybe now's not the time. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Later, later, later. Why can I not? Don't, not the fists. God damn it. Oh, I'm shooting through the... Damn, this guy's got... Head made out of steel. Oh, shit. All right, well, we're out now. Woohoo! My God, I was not expecting these animations. Pleasantly surprised. Damn, dude. Holy shit. Okay, we're climbing this building. We're gonna hide on the roof. All right. Okay, that's just what we're doing now. Where's the rest of them? Yoo-hoo! That's one of ours, I think. Hello? Ow. My knees! Oh, there he is. The hat! <laughs> I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Absolutely. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh yeah. More? The trees? Oh my god! What did I just do? <gasps> How did I just launch myself <laughs> off a wall into a roof? <laughs> what the fuck? Arthur! Dude, what? I have no clue. The horse! You wait. I'm out of control. She's out of control. Oh, is this a bad guy? Oh, these are ours. All right. Slow down time in combat. Ooh. Me gusta. Press. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop that. <laughs> Slow down time, eh? Where is he? Advance. That did nothing. Right in the booty hole. Damn, baby, let's go. One more over here. I saw his little juicy booty. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you at? Where are you at? I saw you. I saw you. Oh. Maybe my boys cleaned him up. Good work, boys. Yeah. Yeah. I need to come back for that cigar. There we go. That was fun. This is fun. Items. All right, I feel like... I 
actually all cured up. I'm alright. I'm alright. Not too bad. We don't yeah. have time to mess around. Keep looting. There we go. Some bourbon? And a cigar? There we go. Bandana? Hides your identity while committing crimes! <laughs> my favorite part-time activity is committing minor crimes! Collection of personal watches. Platinum. Okay. Arthur, get over here! I'll think about it. <laughs> I'm exploring, damn it. Uh Okay. Uh, valuables, belt buckle, cigarette cards. Okay. Cool. Mm hmm. There we go. Did I miss any dead bodies? I don't think so. And did we get all the chests and stuff? I don't think I got these, yeah. Something tells me there's gonna be a lot of dead bodies in this game. Gold star for anyone who can count the number of bodies that are killed this entire playthrough. I know there's gonna there's bound to be one crazy person out there who could actually do it. Tally every single dead body. There we go. This looks like a nice establishment. Let me rob it real quick. Can I take this backpack? No. Oh. Uh, shame. Oh. Let the bodies hit the floor. Gold wedding ring. Damn. Silver emblem. All right, I think I looted a lot of these guys. I just missed the ones in the front. No? Okay. Good work, boys. Yeah. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. 
I saw an open chest. Okay, building to the left. Explosives. This guy? Hmm. Hey. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. What does good dynamite smell like? Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Oh, shit! All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Oh, yeah. man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. Good work, fellas. Hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. Damn. You know, He'll come after us. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right. Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Hmm. I'm trying to mess this guy's day up, huh? Hit a stockpile, hit the train. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Could be useful. Oh okay. shit. You got it. What are you doing? And lasso? I have to actually use yeah. my lasso? What in the world? Go. What the Go back! Idiot. Run! What the fork? Go, 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 go! You dummy! Oh god. My god. Oh, there he is. Hell yeah. Alright, here we go. We actually have to lasso. Oh god! I don't think so. Come here. Shit. No. Don't hurt me. I surrender. I surrender. Don't hurt me. Come here, boy. Kill me, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're coming with me. Please don't. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Just let me go. Come on. Then I pick him up. Okay. 
Hogtied people can be placed on the back of your horse. Please, okay. Please, you don't need to do this. Stow. The body. Okay. Good horsey. Yeah, that's it, boy. Study? What? Lead? How do I get on? E. Okay. What's your name, boy? Oh, his hat! You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. Oh, God! So Let's try this again. Dragon with me? Mount. Oh. Okay. You're coming with me. Oh wait, I don't need to loot him. I need to loot him. Drop him. God damn it. My bad. Can I steal his hat this time? Nope. Oh god. You got me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> Just let me go. Come on. This is such a mess. Stow. Now the fun starts. There we go. Come on. I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. Pat the horsey? You're all right, boy. You're all right, boy. You're all right, boy. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You, you don't, don't know, know your name? Your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, no more cinematic camera. It's a real bad day for you, Kieran. I'm cut off. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. <laughs> so I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Damn. Somewhere you don't like. Please, mister! No! I really want to turn on cinematic camera, but I'm cut off because I fell off a cliff. Don't All right, understand. I promise I'm not going to fall off a cliff again. Shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. We're doing it. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. <laughs> I've only been running with them a couple of months. 
Come on, just name your price. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Here we are. Made it back to town, boys. Go. Here we are, you sack of shit. <laughs> Let's introduce you to the boys. Good. Remove Karen. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. It's kind of crazy you can have cinematic camera on for like everything. Not a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. <laughs> we get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. It's a pretty good I'm saying. I'm sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Shoot fellers that need shooting. Feed feathers that need... Fellers that need feeding. Shoot. Seed, sleep that needs sleeping. I forgot the last one. Pretty good rules of thumb for life, I guess. Hell yeah, really. Oh, Fred, why are you so shy? Looking for information on the O'Driscoll's planned train job. Dutch leads the gang into an attack on their camp. No! <laughs> wow! Bought the new journal. I bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in the fire all those months ago, whenever it was. I haven't written or drawn much in the past few months, but I was missing it more than I thought I would, and finally near a store, so here I am, I guess. After all the business up north in the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down the northern grizzlies. Mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter, food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead for some land we were going to buy, but the land did not match up to his criteria, or he got spooked and we were, we were being watched by the law and that somebody knew who he was. Uh, and we never bought it and we were wandering still. We picked, we picked up a couple of new folk in the Grizzlies. Interesting. Ooh. Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on a roadside, and Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch seemed very taken with Micah, who was pretty hot-headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Hosea and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually, we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so tortuous and slow, nobody could have followed us south and east, or figured out where we was heading. We were, we was thinking about California, and then Dutch and Hosea brought us down to Blackwater. Blackwater has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last here. I was told, I was told to expect little more than a trading post. 
But the place is growing fast, and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas, but I do not particularly like being this near to a town. We're living here, camping outside town mostly, hiding in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why he exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy or if his or not. This arguing is exhausting. I heard a talk of a man sounding like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. Jose and I are onto something. Something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam Jose had things he may have discovered. I'm not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we rob crooks. We're being real careful. It's fun working with Jose again. This man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we're having an amusing enough time. It's going to be running scams again. Jose is a bored huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town, we're going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he's also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, we're working on a boat on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches. Cash coming in from banks, coming in by boat. For once, I'm not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well, and Dutch seems confident that the group assembled all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking a lot about other places. We've been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed. Nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl, not too sure if by accident or design, and seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who had got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze, but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old, abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Davy. Camp Coulter. Hardly the spring I'd been hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owed. I'm profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place or the law finds us cowering up here, I found a girl, well, a woman, I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Colmo Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Damn. Why the fuck? Uh... Hmm... Log. Oh, here we go. Catch and hogtie Kieran within 45 seconds. Kill three O'Driscolls in the same dead eye use. Complete within 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Get 15 headshots. Complete the mission without taking any health items. <laughs> Woo wee. All right. Anyways, gonna just close that back up right there. <clears throat> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Hello. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about <laughs> what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> 
When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. <laughs> Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. God. These people seem real. <coughs> they did such a good job bringing them to life, yo. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Oh, God. It's bow time. All right. Let's head out. Oh, God. Yeah. Charles, I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Oh, sure. Oh, I just can. tap it. Never really got the hang of it. You'll oh. be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find tap. something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's. Uh. Oops. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> now the weather's eased off a bit. Pearson doesn't. We need to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, mm -hmm. going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. A busy time. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. And by the journal sound of it, like it sounded like things were pretty cushy before that. Like they said they had money, things were going okay. And then they did the boat heist, and that's when everything went to shit, which is unfortunate, you know? They took a gamble and they lost. Sucks, man. Lost people, lost money, lost everything. Now they're at this, like, stakeout in this temporary living solution. Some of the ground uncovered here. This is so pretty. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Insane. <laughs> the winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No shh. Stay quiet. <laughs> Stop here a second. I see something. Hmm? Let's see. Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> Air? Track them on foot. Okay. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Pat. The bow, Arthur. Come I on. need to give it a pat. Uh, 
Bow. Cycle between modified ammo types. For the bow? Alright, whatever. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Let's go. I'm sneaky. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. No. Maybe not. Focus. Eagle eye. Oh, my Witcher senses. so confused. It says stop tracking. I mean, I can see it. Okay. I'm sure. I'll get the hang of it. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Here we go. Wait, look. I see it. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Bow! Don't you aim ahead? Nice. Oh shit. See if you can get another one. Damn. I'm kinda cracked. Another one. Boop. Do I loot it? Let it hang? Let it hang, let it hang. Let it hang, let it hang. Let it hang. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I dosaki. Call? Study an animal, discover information on it and its quality. With average or poor kills. Huh. So I can study it. How close do I have to be to study? Interesting. Call. I feel like that's a bad move. You don't want to draw attention, right? I don't know. I'm not a hunter. I don't go outside. You guys see how pale I am? Do I look like I... Okay, study. There we go. Track. Show info. White-tailed deer. Perfect. Mature of innocent. He's in crafting or cooking. Use a rifle for a clean kill. All right. Got it. Ah, unlucky. Oh. Take your time. Aim. All right. There they go. Hmm. There they go. Hey, little friends. They'll never see me coming. Fuck. 
Damn. Aww. I'll continue your bond to increase the distance. I hated that. Where's my horse? There it is. See Walker. There, boy. There, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. tracks in the snow, man. Oops. Idiot. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Mm-hmm. Dropped off to Pearson to contribute to gang supplies. Nice. Meet here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We we'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Hmm. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. True. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, I don't want it. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Hmm. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Watch out. Is that a bear? bear ahead. Yeah. Let's see if we can find another way around. What? We can't just kill it? I have to go all the way. We have to go around the bear? Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Okay, I guess we turn around and we see bears. Good to know. Yeah, that poor Sadie. You said find another way! I'm trying, homie. 
All right, I guess we're gonna approach it. Cut up here, off the trail. Oh, okay. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. <laughs> yeah. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Nah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like oh my that. gosh. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. 20 saved years? Me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. Damn. He always sees us right. We got some like long standing loyalty there. Or, like blood at that, that point. New horse. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. <laughs> Can't take nobody but him. Aw. Horses form attachments to their owners. I don't know much about horseback riding, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, I'm real cowboy esque. Good at lassos, know a lot about horses, like. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Born to be Western, you know? Drop some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just get this off you. All right, let's bring it to our guy, Pearson. Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. In here? Anywhere? What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. I know, <laughs> really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? Me? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I have to do it? I'll see you both later. Oh, you God. You, you dumped on the floor there. Oh, no. What the fuck? Not too bad, Mr. 
Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. What the you fuck? Know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If okay. you look to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. <laughs> well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Like Thank minks, you, chinchillas. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Don't need it. It's been a tough few days. Kinky! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Master Hunter Challenge. Oh, yeah, for me? <laughs> Hi, Jinky Baby. Come here. Oh, my Dutch goodness. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Oh, I baby. thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? Not a thought in those eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but. Look at you. I was always ugly Dutch. <laughs> I was always I ugly still, Dutch. Son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. No. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. You're a idiot, rotten man. Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. Do you want oh, she's going to lay on Jose? my mouse. I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy oh. heading back there? Right on no. my mouse. <laughs> Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. Hell yeah, what brother. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, <laughs> how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make some Dutch is just built different. Ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. What a guy. Oh, the music. Everyone ready? All right. Let's head out. Oh shit, boys. It's time for shenanigans, baby. Let's fucking go. Oh shit. The boys are back in town. So kindly provided to us by the Odrissons. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. What are you doing? There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Ooh. You and me, Morgan. Hey. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move fast. All right. Hi, Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Let's ride. God, this cinematic camera.
But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Oh, yeah. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. This shit's beautiful. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Do people not play this in cinematic mode? Like, are there people that manually steer and don't turn that on? Because that's insane. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Shenanigans. Check on Bill. All right. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, we are doing major shenanigans right now. Oh, dear God. Who let Aurelia run this thing, dude? Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Who gave me the power? Boy. Good boy. Have to say, I'm rather looking forward to this. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan, all of you. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. This is beautiful. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Mm. Items. Bandana is on! Gentlemen, it's time. Oh shit. Good luck. The music. All you. you all know what to do. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here we go. What the fork? Kidding me? Where did you find that more? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! <sighs> what? You know that? Uh. 
We have to jump on the train? Oh my god. Yo, I need to get a bandana. Oh, shit! Here we go, here we go. Woo! Oh. No! This is insane. I'm trying. Oh, I have to click. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. This is insane. This is actually wild. Come here, baby. Let's fucking go. Don't loot right now, you idiot sandwich. Gordon Ramsay, idiot sandwich. Jesus Christ. I'm trying. Mm, I'm injured. Shit, yeah. We moving up. Come here, buddy. Right. Yeah, I'm good. Move on up. We gotta get to the caboose, you know what I'm saying? Where's my... Yeah, buddy. Whoops. Oh, yeah! I saw something. There he is. Mm-hmm. Come here, baby boy. Baby. We good? Do we do it? We good? Can I loot? <laughs> yeehaw! They always ask yeehaw, but they never ask ha ye. You know? What are you doing? Get over here! 
Yoink. Listen, you guys can wait, okay? I gotta... No! This guy. I wanted to get this guy. Mm hmm. Hmm. Forty one cents. Good call. All right. All right. I think we're good here. We can get back to the boys. Hello, gents. You two all right? Mm hmm. Yes. Let's get the money and go. Yeah. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! That's enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Oh, heck! Okay. Now, don't matter too much to us. But you boys in there might want to take a step back. Like here, this door, this little guy. Oh God! Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Light the fuse. Here we go. Oh dear God! What have we gotten ourselves into? Unless you got a death wish, not step back, fellers. Whoa. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Private car, eh? This is a bound to have some good stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Look at this! Oh, you two got the safe? Friends. I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Ow! <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Brandy. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. Oh, fine, He's cute. girl. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Leland Oil Development Company. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation, Amberino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company dated November 9th, 1898. I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I'm literally reading. On receipt of these funds, Railroad we will... Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Are we done? Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. 
Come on. Okay. On receipt of these funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, head of accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. All right. All right. All right then. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? I'm working on it. <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. You're fine, girl. How's it looking in there? Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annsburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. You are seriously Archibald Jameson. Mm. Cooperation. Yeah, look at that. Peaceful. You're a fine girl. Ooh, this looks promising. No, this looks like yeah, buddy. Ooh, load a that's a bond. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, sure. Let's hurry this along now. Ooh. Let's go. Let's... Mm. Just waiting on you, Arthur. I get it. Give me a secky. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Heisting uh, complete. Get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay? Again? See you back at camp. When you Bruh. get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. What? What do I do with them? Do I just walk away? I mean... They're loyal to their leader. But they also probably just want to live. Threaten. Okay. Get on the train, quick! Hold it. What are they gonna do on the train? Bad ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come okay, on. I send them on the train. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Said quick. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Oh, and then I start the train, and they just take off. Why would I, why would I let them go and keep the train going? And then they're like, they get there, they're like, what happened? They're like, we got robbed. And then that's it. I mean, I guess that's not that bad. They're going to know that something happened anyways, right? Because obviously the train didn't make it to its destination. So like, ooh, loot. I saw that. Mm. Mm. You're a fine girl. All right. YOLO. Oh, 
Lord's sake. Put that book away and go help. <laughs> oh, Mary Beth. Mary Beth. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. True. We got money in our pockets. The True. worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. On the road again. Aww. What a cozy game. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. <laughs> Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. My heart feels warm inside and mushy. Get up there, let's stick tight. This is so heckin' pretty, man. I hope I don't fall off this cliff. Get us out the street. I'm trying. You gotta keep us moving, but calm. Oh shit. Okay. Let's take a look. Well, that lasted not long. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. Cinematic yeah. mode, man. Cinematic I mode. We can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try to pull me back on that. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. <laughs> Say less. Pick the wheel up! Bash it! Whee! Nearly there. There. And that's supposed to just work. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh yeah, there you go. You tighten it. I was like, you don't just like, push it on there. Oh god, who are these people? What do you think? If they were oh. in trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Huh. I thought it was like the Pinkertons following us or something. Because that's what they were alluding to. Too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river. No more cinematic. Left, inland. Yeah. Left all. Oh. Wait, what? Yes. The Indians. Huh. Okay. This part's got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. 
Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Damn. Yeah. Let's call me so, a blockhead. What happened to your truck? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers... Your health will mother. drain faster when it's hot? We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Damn. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. Wow. A wilder delinquent you never did see. He's at about 20 That's years, so he's like in his 30s? Arthur? Damn, he well, aged. As fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. This is so pretty. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. All the nature. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? <laughs> Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low? It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, Someone you, said that earlier. Dutch. Sometimes people die. This line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. <laughs> Not a bad way to look at it, I guess. Considering. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Mm. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Some herbs. Replenish your cores. Cooking or craft items. I haven't tried cooking yet. Presumably because we haven't really had a lot of access. Oh, picking plants, like in Witcher. Neat. Uh, we haven't had a lot of access to... There you are, brother. Like, uh, campfire Follow stuff. For a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh. Okay, let's go. Wee! Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Am I going the right way? I just hit auto. <laughs> auto drive. Guess we'll see. 
Ow. Look at the little feet, little horsey's feet. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Ah, a little camp. Let's see. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. It's not freezing now, now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. Got it. We were onto something big. Ha ha, and, and then you Mike fucked it up. You all excited about that fairy. Yep. Here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. Dang. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Man with a plan. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. This guy. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Nothing wrong with him, he's just a nerd. I know that things happen. Oh, another but speech from Dutch. We are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. <laughs> Damn get right. To work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. Man with a plan. A town, little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. <laughs> that seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Donate stuff to upgrade ammo, food, and supplies. Okay. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. I have a place? You two will be ready shortly. We put and? over here. I'm sure Who's this lady? Everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't mind <sighs> me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson. Sleep, shave, change clothes, shit. store weapons. You do it properly. <laughs> yeah, my clothes. I can change into my hot summer swim trunks. My speedo. Hell yeah, brother. Chapter two. Woo! Boom. 6.9% done. Let's go. What a productive day. <laughs> That's basically all I have to say. I feel like today was legitimately a very productive and accomplished day of gaming. We started off not knowing a thing, and then we were introduced to so many characters that are all so unique and distinctive, despite all being, like, cowboy-esque. I don't want to lump them all. I don't want to generically call them all, like, cowboys, but, you know, they are. But then getting thrust into the story of their lore and like they've all got these relationships, pre-established relationships together. Some of them have been around for 20 years. Some of them have been around for six months. Seems that they just like pick people up along the way. And they've also recently, over time they've lost people, but more recently they've lost people. And this whole heist thing happened with the boat and the money and the journal is so interesting because it caught us up on that whole thing. And I feel like there's just a lot to discover and unpack about this game. Like, always it's going to be a trip when you're just thrown into the deep end of a game and you're, like, trying to orient yourself on what, who's who, what's what. But with this one, I truly feel like there's a lot 
that I have not even scratched the surface on remotely. Okay, it was an awesome introduction. Chapter one, case closed. We got a little bit about a lot, but there's a lot of mechanics left to understand. I'm sure there's some skills that I don't, I don't, I don't have, first of all. Second of all, I was going to say like skill trees and leveling and stuff like that. There's probably more consequences to actions, and I'm not sure how that's going to play out, but I'm sure that there's like maybe reputation or something to be gained from the choices that I make and the uh, people I interact with and things like that. But yeah, we're opening a new chapter and a new area. Uh, we've got the gang, we've got camp set up, and it's a new day, and it's no longer snowing, and it is absolutely beautiful! This game is beautiful! I don't, I don't want to miss that part too, dude. Not only am I having a rootin' tootin' good time shooting, it is also heckin' amazing! Like, the graphics... Hold on, I'm gonna Google it right now. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments, but before anyone... Before I read any comments and before this even comes out, I want to know. 2018. It's a prequel to the 2010 one. Okay, so 2018. Yeah, that's not super old at this point. God, it's 2023. Half a decade old. That feels weird to say <laughs> in the moment. But uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. And I hope you guys are enjoying it so far because I sure am. And we got a long road ahead of us. So strap in, get your saddle on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.